So a video of uh, Napoli social media TikTok handler mocking Victor Osimen is now trending. In the video, the person who made up the video was calling Victor Osimen a coconut. Remember that uh, Napoli played goalless draw with Bologna, and in that game, Osimen had missed the penalty. And then when Osimen was substituted, uh, you know he was furious. He had little altercation with the coach, but this is to me uh, this is quite an embarrassment to me to see that napoli's official tiktok page was used to mock their best striker last season remember Napo uh, osman was instrumental in helping napoli to win their first scudetto Serie A title in 33 years but all that is forgotten now just in five four or five games of Serie A this season just because Napoli, you know, the manager of Napoli last season, uh, Spalletti, is no longer there. He's about managing Italian team, so they've got a new coach. So they are struggling to, you know, to win matches. But that's not a problem. It happens with big teams as well, big other big teams. But then, for Napoli to use their official to a uh, TikTok page to mock their own, you know, player to mock their own striker it you know, has a lot to tell us you know about the racism that black players has faced in italy this is not the first time a black player will be racially abused it has happened to balotelli it has happened to so many players in italy but now now it's just how many weeks ago that napoli you know they were celebrating osimen as their top scorer as their you know super player and all of that just in four to five games of the beginning of the season everything is now forgotten now it became worse it has become so bad that napoli is using their official tiktok page to mock their own player you know making jest of him you know calling him a coconut because of his hairdo you know uh, i don't i don't i don't understand so what do you think that uh, now this is coming from um, Fabrizio Romano Victor Osimen could take legal action against Napoli according to his agent Robe Roberto Calenda what happened today according to Fabrizio Romano he said what happened today on Napoli's official profile on the TikTok platform is not acceptable a video mocking Victor for the uh, was first made public and then but now belatedly deleted a serious fact that causes various serious damage to the player and as to the treatment that the, the young boy is suffering in the last period between media trials and fake news will reserve the right to take legal action and any any useful initiative to protect Victor Osmond. So his, uh, his agent is about taking legal actions, you know, suing Napoli uh, as, a, uh, as a club for allowing such video to be posted on the official website how can you mock your own you know star player just few weeks ago Osimen was you know the talk of the lips everyone was praising him keeping praises on him there were so many deals that came from saudi arabia and some other top clubs i think Mayu was also interested in signing the player but napoli returned him they said no we can't let him go right now the whole thing has changed just after four games this is shameful napoli should be ashamed of themselves i don't even think any nigerian watches napoli games except victor osman me as a nigerian what makes it to even watch napoli games is just because of osman uh, if not for osman what will even make me watch napoli games what will even make me check the highlights so napoli should get ready for nigerians we are coming hard on them